Uh, this is just a continuation from when I installed the clutch about 10 months ago. Uh, the clutch on the truck is uh, just as strong as it was since the day I installed it, which is good. However, I noticed a, a problem a week or so ago uh, when I stopped at a set of traffic lights and just resting my foot against the clutch pedal and the clutch pedal sank to the floor. Uh, I pumped it a few times and uh, it came back, uh, but then it sank to the floor again and just flopped around uselessly. Um, so after some more pumping, the clutch sort of returned, um, but the whole sagging to the floor thing uh, basically indicated towards a bad seal in the hydraulic clutch system, clutch actuation system. Uh, there are two cylinders on this truck, there's one under the pedal, um, and there's one here, which is the clutch operation cylinder. You can see that because of the sun, it's kind of bright today. This one here, uh, these are the two lines, the bleed nipple and the... Uh, the fluid inlet pipe. Uh, so I took the, I did the usual checks, um, testing for the, looking at the pedal to see if there's any fluid dribbling down it, which normally indicates the cylinder behind the pedal has failed. But there's nothing that's completely dry, uh, and the actual clutch fluid was still at a normal level. So I drained it, I, I, I purged it again. I mean, I took to see if there's any air in it, but yeah, it made no difference at all. So, of course, if the one behind the pedal is okay, it must be the one in the transmission, this one, which is bad. So, again, I had to take the transmission off, though the clutch itself is still in place. Now, uh, I did check underneath for any drips or something like that, but because it's so old and there's so many bloody oil leaks, I couldn't tell any dip, tell which fluid was which, because it all mixed together. So, I, when I took the transmission off, um, it was kind of... Uh, greasy inside. It, ignore this fluid here, this is WD-40 from when I was loosening the bolts um, which held the uh, clutch cylinder which is called a coyarine in Mexico which is where I am. Um, so this is just WD-40, this is not fluid. It was kind of dry but there was a, a film there, some, something had been leaking at some point. Um, so what i going to do is I'm going to replace this which I uh, hope is not too bloody expensive. As a side note, um, if you remember me from one of my video 8 of installing the clutch, I think it was video 8, I mentioned the putting the the uh, the lock, the, um, the nut lock on the uh, bolts to secure the uh, bolts in place so they didn't come loose. Now you can see that. This has like a kind of a tinge on it, a ready tinge. This is uh, the nut lock. This is what holds it in place. Um, it was a bugger to get off as well, so at least it worked. So this is kind of tight, it's really really stuck in place, this cylinder here, so I'm going to fr frig around with that for a bit to see if I can get it loose, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so after a, a bit of clouting about, uh, we've got it off, so there you go. Uh, again, this liquid here is just WD-40. I didn't realise it's actually got sealants on the back here, which is uh, also part, you can see on the lip there. This must be to protect the lay shaft bearing, which is this bearing here. Because I'm not sure whether that has a seal inside. This is the lay shaft. This is where the uh, clutch disc slides up and down. And this is the bit that goes into the pilot bearing. But there's virtually no movement in it. So the bearing's still good. Well, which is good because I don't want to replace that just now. So this is the, uh, the clutch safe cylinder. That's where the uh, fluid goes in. That's the bleed valve. really see any evidence of it leaking so I damn hope this is the problem. Uh okay, I'll replace it anyway because it's more than likely gonna fail in the next year or so. Uh right, I'll go and get the new one and we'll we'll come back. Okay, <coughs> so I went to buy the uh the new uh cylinder and this is the new one. And if you know much to my annoyance I said, if you notice, much to my annoyance, the new cylinder, which cost about sixty dollars, uh, includes a new thrust bearing, which pisses me off a little, because of course I went and installed a new one when I installed the clutch, but I couldn't buy the new cylinder without a bearing, so uh, it was either this or nothing. So anyway, I got a new one. I'm going to do now is uh, I'll clean this up a little bit. Oh, I meant to say that the uh, the new uh, clutch kit, the new come out, the new bearing uh, 
cylinder assembly comes with a new uh, seal for the hydraulic line and a new, I'm not sure what there is actually a little plastic thing there is it a tool for, oh, I think it's a tool for removing them yeah, maybe that's what it is um, the special tool you need to remove the, the line from this connector here so this one does actually have a new type of clip which is one of these springy removable clips which comes off as opposed to the um, the one where you need to uh, push the clip down on the hydraulic line which I think is in video 7 or 8 of my clutch installation so what I'll do now is I'll put some sealings around here I'll clean this up a little bit uh, I'll put some sealings around here uh, I'll mount this up, offer this up I'll put some of this new, uh, I'll put some of the uh, Loctite on the bolts to um, seal them in place and then um, I'll torque everything up and I'll come back to you then Okay, as you can see, uh, it's all installed now new, s new bearing, new cylinder sealant at the back, around the edge of the uh, cylinder here yeah. Bolt uh, loctited in and torqued down to about 25-30 pound feet, which is all I can find really. Um, everything works nice. The I'm not actually convinced that this is going to solve my clutch, clutch problem. I actually think it's the slave cylinder under the pedal, but it's not leaking. Normally, when you get a uh, a leaky slave cylinder behind the pedal, it runs it tends to run down the pedal and into the cabin. So that's a dead giveaway, but it's just not happening at all. So, plus all the other mechanics I've spoken to about this uh, said to me, no, it will be the uh, it will be the clutch cylinder on the transmission. So, what I'll do now is I'll install the transmission again, uh, exactly this is exactly the same as the uh, other um, videos I did about the clutch installation, and we'll we'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, transmission's back in. Clutches bled, and this time the actual clutch pedal is up where it's supposed to be. Whereas before it was flat onto the floor, a tiny piece of bite or but nothing at all. Very crunchy gearbox, but it's actually pressure there now. That's where it's receiving the pressure there. And it's got full travel. All right, let's see if the damn thing goes. Shift a bit notchy. It wasn't like that before. I'm wondering if I've. Because I drove it for a day or two with the clutch pretty bad and uh, the gears were snatching as I was trying to change. I'm wondering if I've taken the edge off the bloody key. Change the one behind the pedal. God damn it! A whole day and uh, seventy dollars wasted. No bloody reason at all. Oh dear, dear, dear. Anyway, at least I know I know the one in the transmission is good. So I'll try and drive it, see what happens, and I'll let you know. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like I was right. The problem is still there. It looks like it's the slave cylinder that's behind the pedal. Because if I push the pedal like this, oh, it feels great. However, stop. I just rest my foot on it. You see the pedal moving down? That's what the clutch engaging. That's it sinking to the floor with no pressure at all. Nothing there, look. Nothing. Now if I leave it for a second, and then pump it, the clutch feels fine. 
Yeah, it's definitely that is it sinking to the floor again. Look, that's not me. That's not the clutch engaging. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to change the one behind the pedal. Ah, uh, never mind. Living.